Alrighty, hi everybody. Um, so there's nothing new for me to review, unfortunately. So I figured I'd pull some other stuff from around the house. And as you can see, I've decided to pull the biggest thing in the house, which is the giant diva sculpture. Um, she's humongous. And while she's not maybe technically mine, she, like I said, since I don't have anything new to put, put out, I figured I'd do probably one of the more interesting figures that we have in our house um, and doesn't maybe get the love that it deserves because it's too big to fit anywhere. Um, and since we have the giant big diva statue, I found all the other little diva things we have in our house. Um, mine are all teeny tiny. And then, you know, Cory's more of a Figma dude. So I pulled her out as well. What we can do, we're gonna start kind of go through maybe some of the little ones first and then save the big one for last. Cause like I said, I, I can't move this. This is heavy. It is huge for scale comparison. I, I know that green here, she is a one eighth, one seventh scale. Like just standing next to, you know, the giant mech. And even next to D.Va herself, you know, I think D.Va is obviously a little bit taller. Um, but yeah, so to start, I think I want to go into just Corey's little figma. I'm not going to change anything for this because it's not my figure, but she is still pretty cute. We're going to move the lighting a little bit here. Ba -ba -ba. Now the Overwatch figma, um, I've been collecting the Nenroids. Corey's been con collecting the figma. Um, they're, they've been kind of, they, they're not, I think they look good together. Um, I think D.Va was one of the less exciting ones because she's got this really weird, I think, I mean not less exciting, but less well put, um, where her neck is kind of wild here. Oh, it's raining hard again. You can see like the really big joint there. Um, but I do like some of the small details that they put on the Figma. You can see the gun has a good fair amount of detail on it as well. Like I said, I'm not going to take this apart and look too close because it's not mine. She got a good little butt though. Little, little, little booty. Um, and you know, got all the little uh, sponsors. Oh my god, the kid is screaming outside. Anyways, though, I wanted to show that really quick. I guess this is one of this is one of the diva things we have in our house, so you know, figured I'd put it out. But um, to kind of go just maybe in order of relation, um, I have my little diva Nendo, the original outfit. Now I'm not really much for reposing, but I will say that diva does come with a lot of really cute accessories for Nenroids. If you are someone that likes to pose things, I mean, she's got her little selfie hand she's got the little bubble gum which can be used for anybody um so really cute now if you've seen the other overwatch nenroids they are all like fairly poseable she's maybe not fully as poseable as the other ones where like some of them you can move their little feet but uh she still mostly pose she still has all the posability in the arms where there's like the three different joints um, but I think they did a really good job of even just kind of translating the same um, ideas that they did with the Figma. There's really not a whole lot that's missing between the two. There's a couple little things, of course, but um, let's see, we're going to boop. And I guess just so you can see comparatively, obviously the Figma has a lot more of the small details. Oh, camera, why? This is hard. I can't do it with two hands. Oh. I refocus it with my chin so you can see there's not like these little tiny ones on her legs some of the details obviously are missing in the gun um, and but surprisingly enough a lot of the stuff is still transported over maybe some small things like the ring um, on the little shoulder piece uh, less detail on her back than on her back um, but you know, like I said, mostly pretty similar. Now, uh, one thing that does kind of suck, the gum is kind of loose. Obviously, you can see like it, it'll just like move around. Um, but it's still cute that it is something that you can use basically for anybody. But still really cute. Um, now, of course, the selfie little hand is really nice. 
Um, but, you know, probably if you were to use that on another figure, it's going to be very obvious it's not for them because she's wearing, like, her white glove. Um, but, still cute. She also came with this little tiny baby mix. Wow. Now, most Nandroid boxes, you've seen one, you've seen them all. It's the same idea. Um, the good thing I like, though, because I'm not a like much of a poser for figures and stuff like that. Um, sorry, that was all blurry, but, you know, you get the idea. Um, I do like that there is pictures on the side, so I can be like, oh, how do I want to pose this? Um, now, the inside of her little box is pink. It's just pink all around. Um, it's a nice hot pink on the outside of the box. She, of course, has her separate faces, which are very cute. She has this really cute little blush face. Ding dong. There we go. Um, and then there's, of course, the standard face. Basically, every figure you ever get is going to have this in there. Um, are you going to ever use it? I don't know. I, I never do. But Now, her things that she came with, I think, are very interesting um they're a lot more unique now nenroids tend to come with cute little accessories because they can be a little bit more playful than maybe figma will be because figma is like the serious version i feel but diva does come with a little bag of diva doritos which i think you can take it off which is nice so I guess if you have a peg that fits on that with another hand, that can work out okay. I think the only problem is that a lot of times the Overwatch, um, the Overwatch Nenroids, they don't fit with a lot of the other figures, um, not in the same way at least, because their articulation is different, so things are built on them differently. Uh, she also comes with her little soda hand, wow, which again, people. I'm um, just kind of go through quickly. She has an, an other gun hand, so she can hold it in the opposite hand. So that's kind of nice if you want to repose it. Um, just a regular open hand. She comes with little little heart hands. That's so cute. And she also comes with a little peace sign. So cute. She has probably the best hands out of all the other Overwatch like serious ones. But even just for the Nenroids, I think she comes with a lot of, like, cuter stuff than the other ones did. Which, really quick, I want to check and see. I'm going to find Cory's box really quick just to, like, kind of quick browse it. See what's in there. Any of the notable pieces. Like I said, I'm not going to go too in-depth because it's not mine. But, um, yeah. Alrighty, luckily Cory's super organized. It was really easy to find his uh, Diva stuff really quick. Um, so... Uh, first off to start, um, the box. Now, um, just by looking at the box on the side, I think the Nenroid and Figma actually come with uh, a lot of the same stuff. Um, there's, I think, only one thing that is different. Um, but again, Figma box is pretty standard. You've seen when you see them all. If you do notice, it is the same pink, I think, that's inside the, um, the Nenroid. So that's cute. They kind of match. For the headpiece, she has like a little hat headpiece, which I think is cute. And a little bun on the back. This is very, they based it very much off of the, um, like the short, uh, the diva short from a while ago. Now her other face, it's just the standard, ooh, come on. Uh, there we go. It's a little bit creepy if I'm all be honest looking at it like this, but that's what's going to happen. Um, she does also come with the selfie hand. She also comes with a, the gum is a little bit different. Now the only thing with this gum versus the Nenroid gum um, is that this is very specific. You can basically only use it. Oh, the rain said, hello. You can only use it on this figure. And then it's also like, well, why, you know, you can keep her mouth open, but we, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not going to go over all the standard hands, but I'll go over some of the cute ones. Um, she does come with this hand because it goes along with her little soda. Again, this is based directly off of the animation. Now, it looks really plain here, 
but that's because it comes with stickers that you would put on it. Well, a little bit more in depth. She also, I'm just gonna kinda show it on the side here. She comes with all of these hands and she also does come with the heart hands. But that's the basics on there. I just wanna show them because like I said, most of it was basically the exact same. The only thing she didn't come with was the little chip bag. Um, and she also came with the hat head. So um, anyways, I'm gonna uh, clean up some of the stuff and then we're gonna jump into bulb. Alrighty, and so we've got Academy Diva. Now, as I mentioned, I do believe I did some kind of video on this, so I do apologize as if, if you've actually watched my stuff <laughs> and you've seen this twice now. Um, since I had all the Diva stuff, I figured I would share it because I know I hadn't recorded anything for Little Diva um, or obviously this wasn't mine, the big one. Um, so it just was a nice change of pace from some of the stuff I've been doing recently. But it's very nice. Um, things that I think are cute. I mean, obviously the outfit is really nice. Um, her mech looks a little bit better than the original one. Um, she has her glasses, which you can leave on or take off. I mean, just like little schoolgirl outfit is like really cute always. And it's like really nicely trimmed. Um, her joints are not posable compared to the rest of the overwatch series she's probably the only one that's like that minus some of the, like the really strange ones that just have their own custom joints in general or own custom builds um she's only got a little bit of posability right kind of like on the forearm um at the top all right so unfortunately things keep cutting in and out here um oops here i go just making a mess where i don't have quite enough room but you know, we're gonna see if I can get this video <laughs> finished here, oh my gosh. Um, so, uh, we of course have the normal box, piao piao piao. Very similar to the last one. Her inside of her box is a light blue though. And if we actually take out the stuff, now I don't think she came with nearly as much stuff as uh, regular Diva. But she of course also comes with two faces. Now these ones are much more plain compared to the other one. Um, there we go. Still cute. The nice thing is you can at least kind of interchange them because they're all the same face with the same girl technically. Um, everything else though, she comes with a, a straight arm or straight leg instead of a bent one. That's fine. Um, and she comes with two arms without posability. So they go like straight on her side. And then there is another gun holding hand pointing forward. So like I said, this one now, she didn't come with much. Um, oh, she did also come with one high five hand. Very cute. But um, you can't like always have everything be like super crazy all the time. So in a second, I'm actually gonna move us around. We're not gonna look at the pop figure. It's a, it's a pop. I mean, it's cool. It's the mech, it's the mech at least. So that's pretty dope. But we're gonna get to look at the big giant one. Um, But we're gonna jump in. All right, in time for good old shaky hands to move this. Um, I'm gonna be moving my lights around too so we can see a little bit more. Wow. A lot more detail obviously I guess maybe not so much detail detail but like there's a lot more that you can look at um, now diva can come off boop, boop. she got a little square butt but pretty cool like I said she's she's pretty hefty um, this figure is also like I said I mentioned this earlier but is heavy it cannot move very much now um, for the actual paint on it, while there is a lot of small details and unique things on it, um, there are some things that I feel like probably could be painted a bit better considering how big it is. Um, and uh, two, just because of how expensive it is. Um, the base, it's like a, um, I'm not really sure what exactly this is, but it's clear coated, um, painted, it's very thick. Um, ugh. Okay, here's some of the back. Wow, now there's, the, what I mean by like weird painting on it, while there is stuff that's cool, kind of like the actual lining in here that you have, there's stuff that's weird where I think they were trying to make it look like there was like decay, or not decay I guess, but like mechanic stuff, um, where there's like these weird brown bumps and things like that, and like here and there it's not too too bad, but then there's stuff like the white here maybe there's another reason for it. I'm not too sure um, but there is 
like I said, sometimes it's nice. Um, and sometimes it just looks like you just took your triangle stamp and <laughs> kind of like stuff like right up here. You can see how there's just like little triangle bumps kind of all over the place. Um, the top is pretty cool too though. <laughs> this is, this is a, this is huge. Um, but it's, you know, it's all over the place. Sometimes it's kind of cool. Like they did it like a wash, like a dirt wash. Um, sometimes it just, like I said, just doesn't look like how you'd want to. Now I think whoa, spots that it just does look well, that's like stuff like on the gun where there's like the gunpowder or like the burn marks on it. Um, stuff like down at the feet, it's a little bit dirtier than it is on the rest of the figure. But then there's like, I don't, I don't know what these are maybe supposed to be. Maybe I'm just not big brain mechanic, but you know. Um, now Corey has had problems with this. Unfortunately, some of the pieces have ooh, broken, like the wing has coming off. So I'm trying to be very careful because I don't want to contribute. Um, oh. you have stuff like these. Um, which this you can see can move a little bit, but this one, it's like wiggling all over the place. So it's whatever. Um, you can kind of see inside, which I think is kind of cool. But overall, I mean, obviously it's hefty. It, this is this is a figure for its size, <laughs> um, not so much maybe for the small details. Um, it's obviously huge. Um, compared to everything, but big, huge, hefty. I thought it'd be cool to kind of take a look at it. Um, since this is a little bit more unique compared to what I have, my biggest one is my 2D. Um, and even he only, I think, stands to like here next to her. But yeah. Anyways, though, I think that's probably all I'm going to do for this video. I know this could be a little bit longer, but I figured I would show off like a little section so to speak, of the house. But if you enjoyed this, of course, I appreciate it. Uh, and appreciate you watching uh, to the end. Uh, if there are figures that you've seen that I have that you would like to see a little bit closer look, I'd be more than happy to review it. Just let me know. I'd be uh, more than willing to do that because um, I don't have anything new. So anything at this point is just reviewing um, older stuff. So yeah. I have something, again, it's not new, but it's new for me coming soon, but it'll be a pretty simple video. Um, and I think before I just talk and run out of more space on my phone, uh, thank you everybody who came. Yay! And um, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Bye!